Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here, and I'm sure as many of you know, the play-in stage for the 2020 League of Legends World Championships, the biggest tournament in all of esports, started today. And so far, North America is 1-0. We are completely undefeated, and today, North America took down Europe in the ultimate rivalry, the ultimate grudge match, NA against EU, Team Liquid against Mad Lions. Team Liquid came out victorious. Obviously, Europe has had much, much more recent international success than North North America and the teams in Europe and the players and everything have been feeling so good and they've been feeling on top of the world. Mad Lions finished second in Europe in the regular season. This is in best of ones and this is a single round robin uh, group stage for the plans and it's all going to be best of ones. So Mad Lions were coming in as what most people expected was going to be huge favorites against Team Liquid who's just kind of slow veteran uh, team and Mad Lions is this young exciting team that just gets a bunch of kills and absolutely wipes out teams and they're from the much better region but again today Team Liquid was able to take them down and in this video today we're gonna to be breaking down exactly how that happened and kind of just getting all of North America's bragging rights out there so with that being said here we go getting right into it first up I wanted to take a look at the drafts because obviously those are always gonna be a really really important part in the League of Legends uh, with the first pick Team Liquid actually got a uh, lease in for Brock so this is going to be a really big uh, champion for these two teams shadow and Brox are both really really known for their Lee Sin even though Brox is not having that great of a year uh, He's kind of been a slow person in the early game So it wouldn't make sense that Lee Sin is that good uh, for him But he's really really clean on it and also getting it away from shadow is really really important uh, on the other side We see uh, Mad Lions picking up Evelyn who they had already played earlier in the day and it didn't look that great So most people were seeing this as a win for Team Liquid as well uh, But maybe Mad Lions will be able to uh, kind of show out with the Evelyn how they haven't seen before um Really, really interesting. Team Liquid pulling out Twitch. Uh, they have Twitch Rakan, which obviously isn't going to be that good in lane, and it's going to really get bullied by the Leona and Ash. But Team Liquid does have a Twisted Fate uh, to be able to answer uh, if anything breaks out in the bot lane, if there is any hard engage with an Ash ult or a Leona ult or a Leona hook or anything. And also, wherever Evelyn decides to pop up and look for early game and even mid game plays, Twisted Fate is always going to have an answer for that. So I think this is a really, really great pick. Um, also, getting the Rakan on the Invisible Twitch for some nasty engages can be really, really good and exciting. Uh, and then they got the Mordekaiser into Camille matchup in the top lane, which is something they really, really liked. And a champion that Impact has been really good on the whole year. On the other side, uh, having Ash ult, Leona ult, uh, Camille to go in. There's a ton of ways to be able to get onto Twitch and Twisted Fate and just absolutely wipe them out. Uh, Mad Lions has a really, really nice skirmishing composition. They have a lot of really nasty stuff that seems to fit their playstyle really, really well. Uh, so they have a lot of good things going on for them as well. Um, but again, uh, the Evelyn, I do definitely have a lot of questions about, and it is something that would uh, play out in this game. So uh, pretty much, we skip ahead to 10 minutes where not much has happened. As you can see, it's 0-0. Zero, zero, gold is basically even. And a lot of people agree that this is a big win for Team Liquid. Um, yes, uh, the Evelyn is having a very, very good game. We can see here Evelyn is level 8, Lee Sin's level 7, and Lee Sin's done nothing. It's 10 minutes, and he hasn't been able to affect the map anywhere, and usually you'd say it's really bad for Lee Sin, and probably pretty good for the Evelyn, but again, Team Liquid is this veteran team who wants to play safe in the early game. They want to scale up, they want to team fight, and then they want to just absolutely wipe you out after that, and Mad Lions is this aggressive team looking to get early game leads, um, and they don't have as much experience, let alone international experience as Team Liquid, and they're maybe not as good in the mid to late game team fights uh, as Team Liquid could be. So right now, so far so good for Team Liquid, um, but Evelyn is, is doing pretty good. Um, but then as we continue to see the game play out, we do get some action in the bot lane again. That's that huge winning matchup. Uh, for Mad Lions, but as you can see uh, with the Rakan engage and then the Twisted Fate ult coming down They're actually able to turn this play and even though Mad Lions does get first blood Team Liquid is able to turn it around for two kills Just kind of how I talked about uh, when we were breaking down the draft That's gonna be a huge thing that yes Ash ult Leona ult Leona engage is gonna be really really hard for Twitch and Rakan to deal with But you can see Rakan has enough disengage with the ult and the knock up to kind of fight it off And then Twisted Fate is always gonna be able to roam down and be there um, And if Evelyn's not there as well, it's going to be easy for Team Liquid to turn that around and again now them having an even early game lead is going to be something that really really helps them out um, because they're the team that's weaker in the early game they're the team that doesn't want crazy stuff to be happening in the early game um, and now they're at 12 to 15 minutes with the lead that that seems to be really really good for team liquid we see here again uh, Mad Lions trying to go in. At this point, Twitch is uh, a, a f ahead of the Ash, so they have to be careful. Twitch does flash in, get aggressive on the Ash, and that's evil, able to pick up an easy kill. 
um twitch is really hard to engage on again with the disengage and the shields from lisa and the disengage from recon and cleanse on twitch as well so i think they've done a really really great job um negating that bot lane pressure that mad lions was trying to force out with their composition with their picks with their summoners with all of that um and now twitch is two and oh he's got blade of the rune king finished he is an absolute monster impact picking up a solo kill in the top lane we didn't get to see that on the broadcast um but that's pretty disgusting Broxa does get a little sloppy there and hand over a kill to a Leona. He kicked her back, didn't kill her, and then dies of the tower. Again, Broxa has definitely been a low light for Team Liquid. Um, but the rest of Team Liquid's looking so good. Tactical as a rookie, playing amazing in this game. Uh, Karji, he's having a bad time. He dies again here. Um, but this is actually a good play for Mad. This is when the game starts to get a little scrappier, which again seems to fit Mad Line's playstyle a little bit. It's still 15 minutes, so we're still early. Um, Team Liquid definitely hasn't scaled out of control yet, but they were at risk of pulling away. Uh, Impact does TP way behind, and this play just kind of gets completely broken down. It doesn't really work out. This is a great play for Mad Lions, and then Camille's able to just be by herself top lane, get the first tower. That is great for them. They pick up another tower in the mid lane. Um, so that was a huge, huge win in the bot lane uh, for Mad Lions again. And now they're up 2k gold at 15 minutes, even though they're down a kill. But then uh shadows evelyn would come back uh he goes for an engage onto the mordekaiser mordekaiser just alts her and is able to completely wipe her out um not sure what shadow was expecting there if he wasn't thinking he'd get mordekaiser ulted if he was thinking he'd do more damage or more would do less um uh, but mord is pretty big at that point especially coming off the solo kill of camille and uh yeah just another big blunder from shadow on this champion who i i don't think we're gonna be seeing mad lions play um, for the rest of the playing stage probably a does get a little too aggressive here and he gets caught out and dies I'm not really sure what he was thinking uh, Obviously he wanted to get onto the twisted fate But again, they just have so many options with twisted fate gold card and recon CC. This is just a really really nice uh, composition for getting through the early game from Team Liquid, and they're really able to punish the over aggressiveness, which could be inexperience, could be jitters, could be the first international competition, whatever, uh, of Mad Lions. And for that reason, I, I really, really like Team Liquid's composition and how they're playing for the most part. But you can still see here at 18 minutes, we have a 0 1 0 Lee Sin, uh, who's still a level down on Evelyn. Um, I Broxa definitely has to be better. Um, it is. I guess a good sign that Brox is able to not really do anything and Team Liquid's still able to look so good and beat Mad Lions, who again was a team that finished second in the regular season in Europe. Um, but if they want to do anything in the group stage at Worlds, if, if they're able to make it that far, uh, Brox is going to have to be better. He's going to have to do more. He's not going to, he has to not be so sloppy, but he also has to be able to make plays in the early game. Um, so we continue on. We're at about 18 and a half minutes now. Now Team Liquid, who was down 2k, they are now up 1,000 gold. Um, yes, they are able to catch out Jensen here. They get a really, really big shutdown onto him. Uh, Humanoid does miss the Scatter of the Week onto Tactical, which would probably have resulted in another kill. Um, but Team Liquid's able to escape disaster there, because that could have been really, really bad. So now they go from having a 1k gold lead to the game being tied. Um, but now uh, they're just kind of farming up mid uh they go to a replay here, but it ends up getting broken up. Uh, so we don't we don't really even get to see what happens on this one um, because the team fight breaks out immediately after this, and this is one of the biggest team fights in the game. You see a lot of stuff going down. They use everything to kill tactical, and you think that's a really really big pick, but again, impact is absolutely massive. He is able to just pick one person, kill them. Arome is down. They're able to kill Kaiser as well, and then uh, impact it just absolutely runs over this team fight. Picks up a 1K bounty off of Syndra and takes all of her Magi stacks. And at that point, that was one of the biggest team fights in the game where. They get a really early pick on a tactical who's this absolutely massive AD carry, but Twisted Fate's still really big at this point. Mordekaiser is huge. Rakan still has a ton of support for his team, and they're able to win a 5v4 just because Twitch was able to get so much AoE damage down before he died. And again, uh, they lost so much there by losing the 1k bounty, losing the Magi stacks, two other people die. Um, Camille continues to just not really do much. Uh, Leona goes down, and Team Liquid is now in the driver's seat. They're up uh, 1,500 gold. Um, but it's only 20 minutes and they're just going to be able to continue to kind of snowball this game out of control from here Because again, this is where team liquid wants to be if team liquid gets to 20 minutes with a lead They're going to be able to close out against most teams probably even in the world um, But just the hard part for them especially against better teams is getting to 20 minutes with a lead because that's not easy um, <clears throat> Skip ahead to 23 minutes team liquid. They're up about still 1500 2k gold here uh, This is another pretty crazy play from impact where he's in the middle of a 1v5 after getting caught out by the ash arrow the camille ult they use so much 
um, and he starts keeps trying to fight him off. He gets so low, the shield comes up. He looks like he's about to escape, but then the Cinder ult comes down too. So it took three ultimates in a 1v5 to take down Impact. Uh, even though he wasn't able to get out there, that is still like a really big, crazy highlight play. Uh, then here they go for the engage onto Shadow. He does have to use the Evelyn ult to get away, but that's a big win for Team Liquid there even, uh, having to use the Evelyn ult so defensively like that. Also, Evelyn went for the first item Banshee's Veil because she was just in such a bad spot, uh, getting CC'd so often, getting hit by the Mordekaiser ult. Um, that's not the spot you want your Evelyn to be in. Obviously, you want to be going for like that Rabidons and the Magis and getting these, these huge AP numbers. Not having to go for something more defensive like a Banshee's Veil, but that's where Mad Lions was in this game, which obviously is not a good sign. But you have Humanoid 4-1 and one on Cinder. He's absolutely massive. This game is not over. Um, but one more big team fight for Team Liquid, and it could be just that. You see we have Shadow on the Evelyn flank here looking for something, but it's kind of hard for him to get in. The Ash Arrow does hit onto Rakan, which is obviously not going to be the best target. Um, they go in, they're able to get a pick on a core JJ. Uh, Shadow does ult away right into the Mordekaiser, which is unfortunate. Twitch is pumping out a ton of damage as he's able to kill Humanoid. And once Humanoid's down, it really gets easy for Team Liquid after that because he's really the only uh, legitimate threat at this point. Uh, they are able to get a pick onto Karzi. And even though they're able to trade a, a kill back onto Jensen, uh, this is still a really, really good play for Team Liquid. And they're able to continue to uh, extend their gold lead to around 2,000. They're able to pick up a couple of dragons now. They get their second Mountain Drake. They uh, keep trying to work back. Really nice W dodge by Jensen. This play is pretty crazy because the gold card and the pick the three cards doesn't kill the ass. At least in Q does have to come in, but it did come in perfectly. And at this point, you see Tactical in the back just absolutely free hitting onto Kaiser, uh, onto the entire Mad Lions team. The Twitch is huge. The Twitch has scaled. He has three items at this point. Um, and Team Liquid is really just able to run over these fights because Mad Lions was not able to do enough in that early game. They weren't able to use the Evelyn pick effectively. Um, the Camille didn't really do anything. The Evelyn didn't really do anything. And the bot lane, uh, which was supposed to win lane really hard, again, was punished by the Twisted Fate in the early game so hard. And this, at this point, uh, TL's up 4,000. They're about to be up like five or 6,000. They get the Baron. They're able to just finish the game pretty easily after that. And again, North America was able to take down Europe. Team Liquid was one of the best teams in North America throughout the regular season, and MAD was that in Europe. So this is a really hype matchup. But again, so many people coming into Worlds are saying that EU is way better than North America. And over the last few years, and uh, they really have been, but we didn't get to see MSI this year. We didn't get to see Rift Rivals. We don't really know how these teams are going to stack up because there's been so little international competition. But so far, North America is 1-0 against EU. And again, Again, this is only single uh single play round robin so these teams are only going to play one time team liquid and and mad are this was the one game they're going to play team liquid is now a huge step ahead of mad lions and a huge step closer to uh receiving that automatic ticket to the world group stage and NA is going to remain undefeated against EU until the World Group Stage starts, which I believe is like two weeks away. Uh, so this is a huge matchup again in terms of bragging rights, in terms of everything going on. Um, we see Tactical again going crazy in this team fight. He's flashing forward. He's taking out everybody. He gets really low, uh, but they have just shields from Rakan and Lee Sin, all this stuff going on. Um, and it really uh, became easy. And by the end of this game, 33 minutes, Team Liquid really wins in a stomp. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like and enjoy it. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about the NAEU rivalry? What do you think about Team Liquid and Mad Lions? Uh, is Team Liquid legit? Should Mad Lions stop picking Evelyn? Whatever. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to you if you have all this content. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.